G'day and welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this video is a way of dividing by numbers. Uh, a really good trick for dividing by the following numbers. 5, 25 and 125. And how you can do this instantly. You can amaze everybody with your mathematical prowess. Hey, I'll stop talking. I'll just get into this. Um, so first off, we're going to have a look at the number 5 and how you can instantly divide numbers by the number 5. Any number. Okay, doesn't matter if there's remainders or anything like this, so you can get the good decimal and that sort of deal and be pretty pleased with yourself. So, I'll give you a start on this one. Say we wanted to get 74 and I wanted to divide this by 5. So, the first thing I do if I want to divide 74 by 5 is as follows. Well, I'm going to double 74. I'm going to get the 74 and I'm going to double it. So, double of 74 is 148. Okay, the next thing I do is I divide this 148 by 10. So I just move the decimal place back one, 148 becomes 14.8. Okay, the reason by the way I'm dividing by 10 is because here I've times by 2, so 5 times 2, which I've got to do what I do to the top, I do to the bottom. So I'm ending up doubling and then dividing by this 10 here. Hey, Makes sense, right? What about we give another one a go? What about you give this one a go? Uh, what about 17 divided by 5? What does that equal? So you should be able to look at that in your head and double it. Okay, so 17 doubled is 34 divided by 10 is 3.4. So how'd you go with that? Did you give that one a go? You could probably do this to a few other numbers right now. Um, but I'll tell you what I'm going to do. While well, you might do that and you might pause it, I might go on and next show you how to do this with the number 25. Okay, so let's have a look at, say we had uh, 63 and I wanted to divide this by 25. And how we would do this. Now, this works upon a similar idea, okay? But we're not timesing by 2 this time, we're going to times by 4. Okay, so and 2 times 2 is 4, you might get this straight away, you might get this little pattern here. Um, so 63 times 4. If you can't do that, you might times 63 times 2, and then you might times it by 2 again, if you find it easy to double and double in your head twice. Okay, if you do that, you get 126, and then you'd get 252. Okay, but this time we're not going to be dividing by 10, and I'll tell you why, because 25 times 4 is not 10, it's 100. We're going to divide our answer by 100, we're going to move the decimal place back 2 times. 252 becomes 2.52, and that's our answer. What about you give one a go? I'm going to give you a nastier one. Uh, actually, let's make, make it that much nasty. I'll just go 81 divided by 25. And what does that equal? Okay, so the first thing you have to do, you might want to pause this and then give this a go. The first thing that you might want to do is you might want to go 81 and you'll want to times this by 4. Okay, so 81 times 4 is 324. And then we're dividing this by 100. Yeah, so 324 divided by 100 becomes 3.24. Just move that decimal place two times. Hey, simple, right? Okay, now we're going to get to the big guns. Now we're going to start having a look at dividing by a bigger number. This is the one that looks impressive when you can do this. Okay, so the number we are going to have a look at is we're going to have a look at dividing by 125. Well, let's start off with a little fractiony type, 9 out of 125. Okay, so this time we're not going to be <laughs> we're not going to be divide. Uh, we're not going to times by two. We're not going to times by four. This times we're going to times by eight. And I'll tell you why. Because 125 times eight is a thousand. Okay, so you're probably going to be working out that we're going to get our answer and divide by a thousand. So nine times eight is 72, and we're going to divide, like I said, this answer now by a thousand. One, two, three. Okay, our answer becomes zero. 0 0.072. 72 divided by 1,000 is 0 0.072. But I'll tell you what, I'll give you one of these that you can do, and you'll be pretty pleased with yourself, I think, when you get this one, because you'll get this one correct, I reckon you will. 302 divided by 125. And what does that equal? So, 
first off times it by 8 then divide by a thousand I reckon you can do that now if you don't like times it by 8 you might double it and then double that answer and double it again okay because 8 is the same as 2 times 2 times 2 alright so first off uh, 302 times 8 hopefully you're going to get the answer of 2416 okay so now we're going to divide that by a thousand so we're moving the decimal place three times one two three our answer 2.416 hope you like the trick anyway see you next time bye